Good day, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters. Today is January 5th, 2021, and today is Tuesday after the celebration of the Epiphany. Our gospel for today is from the account of Mark chapter 6, verses 34 to 44. And today, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, our first reading of today speaks about the commandment to love. And we are told, let us love one another because God is love. And our gospel for today, put that love into action. Put that love into a concrete way. It concretizes the, the meaning of love. It makes love not abstract, but it makes love real and genuine and concrete. The gospel, I mean the first reading, speaks about love. And our gospel speaks about giving. To, to connect it, love is giving you know love increases when we give love grows by by giving because i believe the degree of loving is measured by the degree of giving three points that i would like to share with you my dear friends my dear brothers and sisters number one the gospel speaks about the multiplication of loaves you know the feeding of uh, the multitude and today, we are reminded that God has the power to perform big miracles from our small contributions. What I'm trying to tell you is, whatever small it is, whatever small things we have, when we offered it to the Lord, when we, when we contribute together, it will create and it will make wonders. Little things can make big difference. But the friends, my dear brothers and sisters, whatever small things, gifts, talents, skills, treasures, what we have, if we're going to put it together, it will create big miracles. Because God has the power to perform big miracles from our small contributions. Second thing that I would like to share with you, nowadays, there is hunger around us. Not because of the scarcity of food. There is, a scry there is crisis, not because we don't have there is poverty around us. There is poverty around the world. Not because of the scarcity of uh, wealth, but because of the scarcity of people's generosity. There is poverty because there are people who doesn't know how to contribute. There is poverty. There is hunger. There is crisis because there is people who doesn't know how to give, who doesn't know how to express the real meaning of love. My dear friends, in our gospel for today, there are so many hungry people. But Jesus told the disciples, give them something to eat. There will be poverty when we don't care. There is hunger when people don't know how to share. Let us learn from the example of Jesus. Love the hungry people. Love the needy. Give place to them. Give space to them. Give your heart to them. And Jesus is telling them, give them something to eat. But sometimes in our lives, we are like the disciples. And we are telling the poor, go, you know, go on your way. Find your food, you know, buy for your own. But Jesus is telling them, no, no, no. Give them something to, to it. You know, the challenge today, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, is this. <clears throat> give not to get. But we have to give to inspire others to give. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, don't be afraid to give. Because no one has ever become poor by giving. And today, we are reminded that 
after they learned to contribute, there was a multitude of leftovers. And it tells me a very concrete example of my life, a very concrete ex experience in my life. And you know, in real life, poor people are the most generous people in the world. The poor are the most generous people in the world. They know how to give. They know how to contribute. And that's the real meaning of love. Love is concretized in giving. Friends, give not to get. But we have to give to inspire others to give. And finally, today, we are reminded that when Jesus is telling them, give them something to eat, we are reminded that the purpose of life is not having. The purpose of life is all about giving. It's not about getting, but it's all about giving. And today, last point that I would like to share. This is the meaning of life. Life is not all about accumulation, but it's all about contribution. I say it again. The meaning of my life, the meaning of your life, the meaning of our life is not all about accumulation and accumulate and accumulate. But the meaning of our life is contribution. It's all about contribution. It's not accumulation. Let me end my reflection by saying and by quoting Mother Teresa. Give, but give until it hurts. When we give, we attract abundance. When we share, we magnet prosperity. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, the magnet that attract blessings to overflow is not to hold your blessings, but to release it, you know, to allow it to flow and overflow. And you know what happened? At the end of the gospel, it says, and it took up 12 basket full of broken pieces and of the fish. When we learn to contribute, blessings will overflow. But if we get to, if we learn to, you know, to control and to hold it, you prevent, you prevent rather the blessings and the grace to overflow. In order for us to attract abundance and blessings, we need to let it go, to share it, and to give it because that's the meaning of life. It's not all about having, but it's all about contributing. It's not about accumulation, but it's all about contribution. Give until it hurts. Give not to get, but give to inspire others to give. And that's the meaning of love. Love is giving without expecting anything in return. Amen.